everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious breakfast burrito. These burritos right here, amazing. So easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make them Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my breakfast burritos before. Gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you're gonna need is I want you all to figure out what kind of meat do you wanna put in your burrito. You can put ham in there, you can put bacon, you can put sausage. Here's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use some smoked sausage, amazing. I love this sausage here. And you're gonna need some flour tortillas. Now you can get the really big one, you can get the teeny tiny ones, or you can get this size. Okay, so there's your flour tortillas. You're gonna need some gorgeous veggies so we can make this thing nice and beautiful and give it some flavor. Get you some bell peppers and a nice sweet Vidalia onion. Use your favorite cheese. Whatever kind of cheese you love, that's what you're gonna use. So we have yellow American here and we have some eggs, okay? Now, what I like when I make a burrito, I always like to have something to dip it in or you know something to put on top of it. And my choice is salsa. We love to dip our burritos in salsa okay so the next thing you're going to need is some hash browns now listen here if you don't want to use frozen hash browns like i'm using today heck peel you some potatoes fry you up some potatoes or throw them in the microwave get them nice and seasoned and put them into your burrito you will need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up here's what you need this way you will need some parsley flakes just to make those eggs nice and beautiful garlic powder for the potatoes a little bit of black pepper and salt Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. So we're over here at the larger stove, and what I want to do is I want to start cooking up our potatoes. If you have fresh potatoes, you could give them a head start by microwaving them or, or boil them, and then you could give them a nice fry, just to help the cooking process go by a little faster. In my pan, I have a little bit of vegetable oil, and really, it's just a tiny bit. You don't want these fries or your hash browns to be oily. Okay, and I'm gonna make a nice amount because all day today I'm gonna to be making breakfast burritos. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to start to get a golden brown color onto these hash browns and then we'll give them a flip. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our way back over to the island and cut up some onions and bell peppers for these hash browns. So now that we have our potatoes in the pan, let's go ahead and cut up these gorgeous veggies to give our burrito some amazing flavor. And like I said earlier, and also some gorgeous color. Okay? All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop up these bell peppers. When I have home fries, hash browns, or anything of the such, I love, love, love to put any kind of bell pepper. It doesn't matter what color you have. They all have a great flavor. Put that and put some onions in with it and make it taste better. You know, we're always trying to think of different ways to bump up things, you know? And that's how I like to bump up my fried potatoes or hash browns. All right, so now we're gonna get these cut up just like so, and we're gonna do the same thing with that nice sweet onion. I tell you one thing, when it comes to onions, I think about the Vidalia onion. The Vidalia onion, believe it or not, is nice and sweet, and it's sweeter than most onions especially when you get it cooked, get a little bit of heat on it. It's so sweet and delicious. I love to put that in my fries as well. So we're gonna get that cut after I'm done with this. Be right back. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut into this uh, onion, just like so, and honestly, you don't need a lot. That little bit, it, it's gonna go a long way. It's gonna get great flavor, but if you don't like onions, don't freak out. You don't have to use it. Anytime I do a recipe and I use something that you can't eat or maybe you're allergic to or you just don't like, don't use it. You know, just keep it out of the recipe and you can still enjoy the recipe because I hear a lot of people say, oh no, you used onions. I'll never be able to try it. Yes, you can. Just don't use onions. <laughs> it's that simple. Really, it is that simple. All right, or a lot of people will say, Gina, you use onions. Do you have to use onions? No, you don't. Use what you like so you can enjoy the recipe. You know, sometimes I like to alter different things, especially if it's going to be something 
really spicy that I can't eat. So I'll just kind of alter it a little bit so that it's not too spicy, you know, that way I can enjoy it as well. Okay, so now that we have these gorgeous bell peppers and onions nice and chopped up. We got the potatoes going. The potatoes here in a second. We're gonna make our way over to the stove and give them a nice flip. They should just now starting to begin to get nice and golden brown on one side. Let's go ahead and see if we got some beautiful color onto the potatoes. Oh yeah, we're getting a nice color. Look at that, that's what I'm looking for. That's why you don't go in bothering them and messing with them. When they're cooking, let them be. Let them be for a minute so they can get nice and brown, right? And I just have a tad bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. Like I said, the last thing that you want is greasy potatoes. Now is the perfect time to go ahead and put your bell peppers and onions in if you're using them. Okay, and we're just gonna spread them over the top just for now. I'll tell you the perfect time to kind of, um, you know, turn them in once that other side gets nice and brown. Let them be. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut up our sausage. And now these are smoked sausages that doesn't have the skin on them. You can use the kind that has skin if you want. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna chop them down just like so in this manner. And then we're gonna give them a nice fry. Get some color onto them. The more color you get onto them, the more flavor. Trust me, okay? So now here's what we're gonna do. Chop it down just like so. If you wanna use ground breakfast sausage, amazing. If you wanna use bacon, you can use bacon, but you make sure you cook that bacon before it goes into your burrito. You cannot put it in there raw. I know, I know, I know I'm telling you guys this, but there are some people that really don't know. And that's why I like to give the information, you know, like I do. Okay, so we're gonna cut this up just like so. And then over to the left of me, I have a pan with a little tiny bit of oil that I've sprayed in the pan. We're gonna cook this until we get some gorgeous color onto our sausage. And pretty quickly, everything's gonna come together after we get those eggs made. Back over here again at our hash brown. So now it's time to season. Now listen here, as far as the potatoes go, you can make the potatoes the day before, you know, the night, the night before you're ready to make burritos and then very quickly everything will come together. That's black pepper that we just put in. We're gonna put in like a little bit of salt, but not too much because I want you all to keep in mind that your sausage does have some salt, you know. And let's use some garlic powder. You can't make potatoes without garlic powder. There you go. And then we're gonna put some parsley flakes just because we want everything to be nice and beautiful. Now we're gonna turn these over and this will be the last time you see the potatoes because you all know how to make hash browns. Look at that gorgeous color that we got. Just like so, when you come back, these will be done. Beautiful. There was once upon a time where I used to like to uh, go to a restaurant and order a breakfast burrito. And it tasted really good one time, but then every time after that, I wasn't happy. It was like, it was almost like the eggs weren't real. It was cold. There wasn't enough meat, you know, the cheese was hard. So what's the fun thing about when you're making things at home is you can do it how you like. You want extra cheese, put you some extra cheese. You know, you can make sure that the eggs are nice and soft and warm. You know, when you make it at home, it's better. You know, all right. So now that we have our eggs cracked into our bowl. I also have about a tablespoon and a half of butter in our pan, and we're gonna get some scrambled eggs, scrambled up and cooked, so we can assemble this amazing breakfast burrito today on staff. Take a look at our beautiful potatoes. They're done, and also our sausage is done. So let's get the sausage out of the pan. I'll bring it over this way. I'm kind of moving all over the place. All right. Just like so. And then we're gonna get started on our eggs. I'm gonna make a nice fluffy egg, okay? Just like so. We'll get rid of this pan here. I will dab this with some paper towels so we can get rid of any extra oil. You know, you don't need that extra oil. Let's go ahead and get started on these gorgeous eggs. And we're gonna, um, you don't have to salt the eggs for this recipe because keep in mind your sausage has salt your potatoes have salt so in this recipe when i'm making these eggs i'm not going to salt them okay but we are going to make them nice and fluffy beautiful be right back so now what i've done with 
the tortilla is I've heated it up just for 10 seconds. It helps it to become a little bit more pliable. Other than that, it's gonna be a little bit hard for you to, um, you know, roll up. So, like I said, make it at home, put whatever you want in it, have fun. All right, so we're gonna go in with those potatoes. They got the onions and the bell peppers and all those gorgeous seasonings, just like so. Put as much meat as you want. <laughs> Don't get crazy, because you won't be able to close it, you know. <laughs> and then, you gotta load it with cheese. You gotta load it with cheese. Now, if you wanna just stop here and not put eggs on, guess what, you can. And guess what, <laughs> it'll be delicious, all right? These eggs turned out nice, beautiful, and fluffy. Mm, and we didn't overcook them. You know, because keep in mind, once we put this, we're gonna put this in the frying pan, and we don't want our eggs to overcook. Let's go ahead and start rolling. Sometimes you gotta bring all your ingredients in. Okay, just like so. And we're just gonna roll, roll, roll. And so we have a breakfast burrito, Gina Young style. Look at this. Okay, fold those sides in, fold that side in. You can always wash your hands afterwards. Frito, done. Keep it on this side so it doesn't open up. Because yes, it can open up. But I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna show you all how it won't open up. Because we're gonna sear it on all sides so that it gets this beautiful golden brown crust. And while we're searing it, it's gonna sear that, it's gonna close that edge that's open, okay? Beautiful, look like that. Look at this. Mm. You might have a kid or someone around your house that just wants, hey, they might say, hey, can you just put cheese and eggs in mine? Or can you just do meat and eggs, you know? And that way, have fun with it, okay? Load it with the cheese, like I said, don't forget. Beautiful, this is so much fun. It's really kind of like, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's like therapy, just filling on these beautiful ingredients, smelling everything, and then getting to see and taste everything once it's done. It's so exciting for me. All right, burrito, done. Now, take a look over here at our pan. I got a pan, I wanna get it hot, and you can see I got some oil in there, but guess what, not a lot just enough so we can get this burrito nice and seared on all sides so that it turns nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And take a look over here at all of my sides that I still have left over so we can make plenty more burritos when, it, when anyone asks us. Don't make a whole lot ahead of time. Just make them as they ask. You know, we got some eggs left over, we got some meat, and we got a lot of potatoes left over. Let's have fun. As Soon as this pan gets hot, we're gonna make these burritos. Time to rock and roll. Now, if you'll notice, after I wrapped up the burrito, I kept it on this side, seam side down, because if you put it this way, it'll unroll. Okay, so we kept it this way. We got some oil in the bottom of our pan, not a lot. Just enough so we can get this nice and seared. If you don't hear that sizzle, don't put any more in because you don't want for your tortilla to get soggy. You want it to get golden brown. Once it gets golden brown on one side, we'll be able to flip it over and the worry of your burrito coming apart, uh, that worry will leave because you'll see that it's nice and sealed. And you even can take the burrito, set it up this way inside of the pan on both sides and get the ends nice and crispy if you wanted to as well. Be right back when we flip this over. Time to flip them over. You should have a nice, beautiful look at that. That's what you're looking for. Oh, yes. Okay, just flip it over just like so. Sometimes you flip it and it'll roll back over. If you have to, use your fork to hold it in place, you know. Just like this, and then we'll turn it to the sides. Get all the sides uh, golden brown if you want, or you could just get the top and the bottom golden brown and be done with it, you know. It's really up to your discretion. But I tell you one thing, it smells good. By the time we cut down into this bad boy, our eggs, our cheat, our eggs will be warmed up, the meat and the hash browns will be nice and warm once again, and that cheese will be melting all through all of the ingredients. Oh my goodness. And then you're gonna have this amazing golden brown, crispy outside.
I want you all to see that we've done both sides and now what we're doing is we've turned them on the side so we can get the sides nice and brown just like so. You want the deeper the color, the better the flavor and the more crispier. Look at this, so easy, right? And, and, and like I said, take the time to make up some potatoes the day ahead of time or maybe the night before. Look at that color. And have fun with it. Put some ham in there. You could put lunch meat in there. You could just use cheese and eggs. Have fun. Make the kind of breakfast burrito you like. And here's what I love about these. You can take these. You can put them in a freezer Ziploc bag. And you can keep these in your freezer for up to three months. And then what you do is you take them out of your freezer, wrap them in a paper towel, heat them up, and they are delicious. You hear me? Absolutely they are. Listen here, we're gonna get these out of the pan because I'm, look at that color. I'm very, very, very happy with the color all over. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite when I come back. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style breakfast burritos. Make you some and wait until we cut down in there. I can't wait for you all to see the inside. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can see the inside. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, your Holy Spirit, to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rope over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at them, everybody. Here's what the inside looks like. Beautiful. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's get it up close. Look at that. Take a bite. I know, I know, I know. Crispy, juicy. And what I love about the cheese that I decided to use is the cheese that I decided to use is nice and creamy. Or if you wanted to switch it up and use a cheese, it's going to give you that nice cheesy pull like a mozzarella or, or a provolone. Take a bite. Yes. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Bye.